You are on YouTube on this video because you want to know how to balance the car tires so they don't vibrate. Let me be very clear. The best way to do it is at a tire shop with one of those specialized machines. But if you want to grow old like me trying, you made it at the right video because I am definitely going to give it another shot. At home, you could get them close enough, but you're never going to be able to take all the vibrations out of it and it will drive you nuts. So the best advice that I could give you, just take your car to the tire balancer shop, pay the man $40, $50, whatever he wants. I think Walmart charges $40 for it. Let them do it. Go home and you never have to think about it again. This is my wife's car. We just brought it back. We got the tires balanced at a balance shop. And I put it on my old trusty balancer and it shows it's right in the middle. So these tires are balanced. The only problem is that if I turn this part of the balancer, if I turn this part of the balancer at 90 degrees, this gets off balanced. This is a third tile balancer I'm trying and is not accurate. So gravity, it's a beautiful thing, but it's nowhere near as the sensor that they could build into those special machines. What I'm trying to do right now is trying to calibrate this balancer on this tire that I know it's balanced by the tire shop to be able to get those tires even better than they are right now. And there it is, I've turned the tire around and you can see already the bubble is pointing that way because the tire balancer, the bubble balancer is telling me that it's not balanced at this point. But because I'm insane, there is another way of balancing them with a ball. So these balls, this is a billiard ball, one of the roundest things that you could buy for very, very cheap. I'm going to try to balance the tire using one of these balls instead of a bubble balancer. See if this one gives me better results. The principle behind balancing with a billiard ball or any kind of round ball is that you're going to get a flat surface. Now I polished the head of this bolt very, very nice and flat. Uh, even if it's in the vise a little bit crooked, it doesn't matter because the ball will always settle in the middle. It will just, if it's too far left or too far right, it will just slide off. So that's what you want to avoid. So obviously you want to put it as straight as possible. But this ball will just sit on top of it and the tire will sit on top of the ball and that way uh, this ball will settle right in the middle. And here it is, the ball is right in the middle and it's balancing on this bolt over here. And this tire should be in balance right now. This ball settles right in the middle of that circle and because it's round on the other edge it will settle right to straight. Now, how are you not going to know which side is heavier because you have to figure out which side is heavier. You can't measure from the table because the table is not going to be 100% uh, level. If you put a level on it, you don't know if this level is balanced because this level can have extra weight to the left or extra weight to the light, uh, right. This is not a balanced uh, level. This is, will tell you if it's level, but it, will, it is not balanced as far as like left to right. So you don't know if this level actually has more weight. Also with these levels, even though they are fairly calibrated, they're not going to be 100%. If you could look at these levels over here, I have complete three readings on exactly the same surface. So this one is pointing fairly in the middle. This one is pointing that this part is higher. And this one is pointing that this part is a lot higher. So you can count on these levels. That's why a bubble leveler never really works. For those that are saying right now, what about a laser leveler? Well, we have one of those. The only problem with the laser leveler is that these have a little bit of a friction inside, so they will never be 100% perfect. These, even though you try to use them, they will never be 100% perfect, and it's kind of like hard to align everything to it. How are you going to align the tire to it to get a reading? And if you're trying to take a reading from here, and then another reading from here, uh, it will not be accurate because this doesn't mean that it's level either. So you can't go by that. The only way that you could do it is if you could take a reading over here, turn the tire at uh, 45 degrees, get another reading, turn the tire at 45 degrees, get another reading, do it so and so and so, and make sure that all the readings are the same. If one of the readings is a couple of millimeters higher or lower, that means that that part is it's, uh, higher or heavier. So that what you'll have to do 
is you will have to keep balancing it until you get the right uh, uh, height on all 45 degrees. Is it going to be as good as uh, uh, balancing your tires at a shop with a highly specialized machines? Absolutely not. That's why I'm saying, if you want to play, you could play. If you have a trailer tire, you could play with a trailer tire. If you want to just do it in the middle of nowhere in a car that you don't really, really care about, yes. But if you just bought a set of brand new tires and you want to have them leveled, I'm afraid you'll just have to pay them in. So here we are. What have I learned today? It is futile to try to make a great job at balancing your tires at home. But you can get them close enough with a little bubble balancer. But they will never be perfect. So these balanced tires, I've spent half of the afternoon taking them off the car that I know they are balanced. Try to gravity balance them with a bubble balancer. The readings are all over the place. I could get them close enough but the readings are all over the place. So if you want perfection, just go to a tire shop. Any reputable tire shop will have a machine that even an idiot can operate it and it will work just fine. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I didn't waste your time, but I'll be very, very honest with you. I hate spending the money, but unfortunately, when it's about tire balancing, you just can't do it. So if you're gonna watch a million videos on YouTube, people claiming that they could do it, they're not 100% true. Yes, you could get them close, but you're not going to be happy.